pagan portals, gods and goddesses of Wales, a practical introduction to Welsh deities and their stories by Halo Quinn. So you do get three parts, 10 chapters total. Um, author's note, appendix one, you get a prun pronunciation guide. So if you're not familiar with the Welsh language, <laughs> it helps you out. So, Appendix 2, the houses of maybe Gwyn. So, it's just like a family tree type of thing. <laughs> and you get a glossary, uh, bibliography, and further reading, which is basically a page. So, so like, uh, the chapter one is like how to use this book so it's basically just states the starting point and a linear kind of like journey so, like not totally comprehensive of the story but it's this jump off point introduction to what is going to be in the rest of the book you get history, theory, you get a few practices like altars and doing pilgrimages and stuff like that to certain places or whatever. So each chapter is pretty much um, the same kind of st um, s setup. You get some sort of story, um, then goes into the gods and or goddesses, um, like information about them so like introduction attributes and symbols ideas for offerings um potential representations and a vision which is basically like a meditation um chapter nine you get other um like gods goddesses deities or whatever you get quick information about them in it um just pretty sure I saved an image of some of these. Really gotta go back. This one. So, there we go. So, you got Arwen, King of Enwin. Um, so you got story, Fell's descent, so you got Arwen, King of Arwen, the Lady of Enwin, story, the arrival of Renanon, Lady of the Otherworld, Rian, um, Queen of Diffid, and I'm totally butchering the name right now, but um, Feral Pen Enwin, and then, so it's like story, introduction, kind of information. So like, that's basically the second chapter onwards, yeah. Chapters four to nine are about um, the gods and goddesses, so, and they're um, grouped together in a way. Um, chapter three is the theory and practice portions. Part three is the further threads kind of image so like chapter seven the fourth branch of the skies and the seasons story the lady of the flowers and it's in italics so and then when it's done the story gotta adjust the screen here so when it's done the story then it goes right into the God or goddess and then divide it into the certain types of sections and the like other types of like deities they just have paragraph and paragraph of the next one paragraph of the next one so elfin ch um, changing luck optimism fortune integration and then some info and then you get the same kind of thing for the next ones. So if you are connecting to the Welsh gods and gods gods and goddesses and other 
deities, creatures, whatever, of the Welsh area, pantheon. This is a really nice book to jump off of and get a good starting place for your research for where to go. So yeah, good introduction and I've had very nice, well, like the few other books that I've read from pa the in, under the Pagan Portal kind of series or whatever you want to call it, very nicely done. So um, another one to add into there. So yeah, Pagan Portals, Gods and Goddesses of Wales. Happy readings.